The way that a dog turns out depends on how the dog is raised, how he is treated, and his living conditions. That being said, there are some breeds of dog who are more prone to aggressive behavior than others. This doesn't mean in any way that these breeds are going to turn into aggressive dogs with a mean streak. Before I continue, if you like the content on this channel, please let me know by hitting the like and subscribe button. I'll be forever grateful. In this video, we will talk about Top 10 Most Banned Dog Breeds in the World So make sure to watch the full video. It just means that if they are treated poorly, they will be more likely to become aggressive than other breeds of dog. Under the right conditions, the dogs on this list can be loving, happy, family pets. That said, the Journal of the American Veterinary Association, JVMA, conducted a study that took place over 20 years to determine which breeds were the most dangerous based on bite fatalities. 1. Labrador The Labrador is generally a friendly, easygoing, and lovable dog. If these dogs are not properly trained and treated well, however, they can be very dangerous. According to the Merritt Clifton Dog Bite Statistics, between 1982 and 2014, there were 56 attacks that resulted in serious injury. Of that number, 17 were children. Also, this breed is responsible for causing one death during this time period. In 2011, a three-year-old boy was mauled by a Labrador which resulted in very serious facial injuries. 2. Cocker Spaniel It is very surprising, but this dog actually belongs on this list. At first glance, and if he is trained and treated well, he makes a great and lovable family pet. These dogs are, however, very emotional. Because of this, poorly trained dogs tend to attack. According to JVMA's study, the Cocker Spaniel has been responsible for over 59 fatal attacks over the last 25 years. In 2016, an elderly man in Jacksonville, Florida was attacked by a pack of stray dogs, and at least one of them was identified as a Cocker Spaniel. The man didn't make it. 3. Tosa Inu This is a very dangerous breed of dog, as it is known to be a fighting dog. It is also a very rare breed. Because this dog is so dangerous, it has been banned in several countries, including the UK, New Zealand, Denmark, Norway, Hong Kong, Australia, and many others. The reason for the ban was due to the increasing number of attacks on humans, especially children. Twenty years ago, the number of attacks was in the thousands. 4. The Bull Mastiff The Bull Mastiff is a very large, very muscular dog. He can weigh up to 130 pounds, and he can grow as tall as 27 inches. Unless these dogs are well-trained and well-behaved, they can become violent. Poorly trained dogs can become very unpredictable. In 2014, a 13-year-old boy from New Jersey was attacked by a bull mastiff, and he was fatally injured. Another boy was also attacked, and he was severely injured. According to the Merritt Clifton, Dog Bite Statistics, there were 111 attacks in a 15-year period. 5. Malamute The Malamute is often mistaken for the husky. These dogs are very large, and they can weigh up to 85 pounds. These dogs tend to be passive, and they make excellent work dogs. Like the Husky, the Malamute is known for pulling sleds in the blistering cold. Because of their size, they are not the best pet to have around young children. According to the JVMA study, this breed was responsible for 12 fatal attacks during a 20 years period. In February 2014 in the UK, a woman's six-month-old daughter was killed by the family's Malamute. 6. The St. Bernard If you have ever seen the Beethoven movies, you think of a St. Bernard as an intelligent, protective, and loving family pet. This is actually true. This breed of dog comes from the Italian and Swiss Alps and has become famous for his ability to rescue hikers who became stranded on the snowy mountains. While these dogs can be friendly and protective, they can also be very territorial. If you want to keep a St. Bernard from growing up and displaying territorial and aggressive behavior, you need to start socializing him with strangers and other animals at a young age. As long as this breed is trained properly, he can be a great dog. If he isn't, he can be potentially dangerous due to his size and aggression. 7. The American Bulldog The American Bulldog is incredibly muscular, and he has a stocky build. He can weigh between 60 to 120 pounds 
which packs a great deal of power behind his muscular body. He was originally bred to work on a farm where he would help his master catch and hold cattle and wild boar. He would also kill the vermin that tried to take over the farm, and he would guard his master's property. Today, he is more of a family dog. Like any dog, with proper training, he will be friendly. He is a very confident dog, which can cause him to be stubborn at times. He also has a very emotional personality at times. 8. The Great Dane The Great Dane is an incredibly large dog. He actually holds the record for being the tallest dog in the world, standing at 44 inches. Originally, he was bred to hunt deer and wild boar. Over the years, being a hunter has become a genetic trait for this dog. If he is trained properly, the Great Dane can be an amazing family dog. These dogs typically love children, and many will allow small children to ride on their back like a horse. If these dogs are not trained properly, however, their massive size can make them very dangerous. If the dog becomes aggressive, and he has his height and his weight of up to 120 pounds behind him, you could find yourself in a very scary situation. 9. Akita The Akita originally came from the mountains of Japan. He is a very strong, dominant, and independent breed. When properly trained, these dogs can be very affectionate and well-behaved. They can, however, be very territorial and awkward around strangers. He is a very muscular dog, and he can weigh up to 100 pounds. Considering his size and his territorial behavior, he can be very dangerous if he is not properly trained and cared for. According to the Clifton study, a study revolving around dog bite incidents between 1978 and 2008, there were 70 Akita that caused bodily harm, and 44 of them were children. During this period, there were 8 Akita fatalities, and 52 people were maimed for life. 10. Boxer the boxer is not typically aggressive. He is typically a very playful, intelligent, and energetic dog. He is also very headstrong. The reason that these dogs are considered dangerous is that there have been 48 attacks involving his breed from 1982 through 2012. According to the Clifton study, 19 of the people who were attacked were children, and 7 of them died. He is very muscular and can weigh up to 70 pounds. This includes a toddler who was attacked by the family's 50-pound boxer, and he was seriously injured. Some people believe that the dog in question was not trained properly. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit from this advice. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content like this. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.